Approximately 3.15 p.m., as your children were walking home from school with four classmates, a blue van pulled up beside them. A male Caucasian stepped out. The man approached Gary and Holly, saying that you, Mrs. Beecher, had asked him to pick them up. Gary was reluctant at first, but eventually the man persuaded him, using Pokemon cards. The van then drove off to the east side of town. Here's a waiting game, sister. We have to wait to be contacted. Come on, Schillinger did this. We have no proof of that. You come from a wealthy family. Most likely, we have a ransom situation. We're going through the records of various prisoners in Emerald City. One pops out as a potential connection to the kidnapping. Who? Christopher Keller. No. Chris is my friend. Let me see that. Keller broke every bone in your body. He's the one? He also saved my life from Schillinger. I'm telling you, Schillinger is responsible. Guys like Keller are hunters. They kill for sport. You're a pretty cool customer, huh? Well, <clears throat> let's just say I've spent my share of time in interrogations. You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Mark Karachi? <sighs> no. Byam Lewis? No. Nope. How about Bryce Tibbetts? No, no, and no. All three turned up dead. Yeah. Yeah. But here's what's curious. You moved to the city in December of 97. These men were killed in January, March, and May of 98. You got sent to Oz in June of that year. Suddenly, the killing stopped. What a bizarre coincidence. You got proof? Evidence, witnesses? You frequented the same bar. <laughs> uh, well, you know, that doesn't make me a murderer. And yet you are, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you went on this latest round? I don't follow you. A death. Me killed. You joking, right? No one of you ever. Known the FBI to joke. Tobias. The FBI found your daughter. Holly's alive. We investigated the lead you gave us. Bob Big Butt Tolan had nothing to do with the kidnapping. He'd been arrested two days before and was sitting in the Crown and Chill Holding Center, awaiting arraignment. Oh, Christ. Oh, the Jesus. The real kidnapping this morning. Tobias. It's Hank Schillinger. Sit down, Fern. We got a couple of items to discuss. Oh, do we now? I don't know anything about a kidnapping. Beecher seems to think you do. That you're behind this. He and I have had a lot of shit happen between us, so I can understand him saying that. But Beecher and I have one thing in common, too. We're both fathers. I lost a son. I know what he's going through. Prisoner number 97B412, Tobias Beecher. <laughs> Convicted July 5th, 97, driving while intoxicated, vehicular manslaughter. Sentenced for 15 years, up for parole in four. You know a man named Gaetano Sensetta? Not that I recall. You don't know him. Not that I recall. You never met him. Not that I recall. That's odd. Mr. Sensetta who just blabbed his way into the witness protection program, says you hired him to kill someone. Hank Schillinger. Do you know Hank Schillinger? Not that I recall. He's the son of Vernon Schillinger. Do you know Vernon Schillinger? Not that I recall. He's a fellow resident here at Oswald. You remember him now? To the best of my recollection. Recollection. I don't know the fucking guy. 
Chris Keller confessed to hiring a hitman to kill Hank Schillinger, only well, never identified who. Mr. Sinceta says he's never heard of Keller. We gave Keller a lie detector test. Turns out he lied about his part in the murder. Now, why do you think Keller would do that? Nice tie. <laughs> okay. Officer, take this weasel back to whatever hole he crawled out of. Hey, buddy. Hey, you mind if we chat down with you? You gonna eat that orange? How about this milk, huh? I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the parole. The truth is, I don't really believe it's gonna happen. Oh, it'll happen. Some cocksuckers on the board see a rich boy like you sobbing his story, their little hearts will melt. You're not going free, bitch. You're not walking out of here and leaving me behind. Clean up this fucking mess. You put me in protective custody. Well, normally I would, but the unit's full. I'm gonna put Schillinger in solitary. Well, he hasn't done anything yet, besides the unit's full. Well, fuck, lock down the prison. Just for you, Beecher? Let's get serious, no. You'll stay in your pod, you'll get your meals there, I'll place an officer outside your door, you'll be fine. <laughs> they voted yes. Oh, my God. <gasps> Tobias. In circumstances, the death of your father, your saving a fellow inmate's life, as well as your continued outstanding behavior, the board has decided to grant you parole. You're a free man, Mr. Beecher. The processing takes a few days, but for all intents and purposes, you are free. Thank you. Good luck. Pinch me, sister. I'm dreaming again. No, Tobias. You are not dreaming. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. Fucking Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here we are. Yes. <sighs> See you tomorrow? Tobias, do not come back tomorrow. Be with your family. Take the time to play with your children. I'll comfort my mother. I promise you, Beecher. I will find who killed your father. Yeah. Uh huh. Hey, Beecher. Sign here. Okay, you're free to go. Huh. Free to go.
could do what Sister Tatumer said. Not make a bond. Yeah. Prisoner 97B412 is dead. You're pissed. I'm not. Be honest. I need you to do me a favor. My ex-wife, Bonnie. She's been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. She's dying, Toby. The only hope that she's got is this drug. It's called oxaliplatin. And the problem is that it's illegal in this country. So I contacted this guy. I know who. You know, he just, he peddles in these kind of illegal drugs. All I need you to do is just meet him. Take the oxaliplatin to Bonnie. I can't. Why the fuck not? I'd be violating my parole. Bullshit, I'm asking you to take a small package in your pocket from point A to point B. I can't. Bonnie is dying. Chris, I love you. Don't. I know that you love me. Give me the address. I gotta go. You tell me you'll say this is all for the best. It's all for the best, Toby. Yeah, is Detective Weber there? I got a tip for him. The sale of illegal pharmaceuticals. Same old story. Sit down. Sit the fuck down. All right, guys, welcome to Oz. Here's the procedure. Agent Taylor? Mr. Beecher. Please sit down. How's it going? Fine. How's your daughter, Holly? You know, the reason I ask is one of the few joys of this job is reuniting kidnapped children with their parents. She's adjusting, all things considered. Must be tough on her, though. I mean, you out of prison one day, back inside the next. How'd you like another chance of being paroled? I can make it happen. How? If you cooperate with us, we'll see to it that this latest charge against you evaporates. If this is about Keller murdering Bryce Tibbetts... That's a dead issue. But Keller did kill two other men, Byam Lewis and Mark Harachi. And Keller's got an ego. And I'm sure that at some point in your time together, he must have mentioned something. You mean come out and admit his guilt? <laughs> no, he's too sly. But he suggested that. his complicity. Yes. Well, you see, that could be enough. If you and I figure out how to phrase it correctly. Like you did with Jerry Heakin? Heakin's a punk. But you're a former lawyer with children. You're back in Oz because of him. 
You testify, you go free. He dies. What is it about Keller, Agent Taylor, that obsesses you? I want justice for those murdered men. Look, I may have been disbarred, but there's still enough that justice lawyer... doesn't come through deceit by my rephrasing what Keller said. He's guilty. I know. Freedom, Beecher. Tucking your little girl Holly in at night. Oh, that's a nice touch. What's that? Making sure he saw us talking together. Will you cooperate? I have to think about it. Well, don't take too long. Now that he's seen us chatting together, he'll start to sweat. Wondering whether you're gonna give him up or not. To guarantee your silence, he might do something nasty. So the little stroll wasn't to scare him, it was to scare me. Jesus, you cover every angle, don't you? I try. In all my years sitting across that desk, I have learned one thing. Most people who come to me with a problem have already made up their minds how they'll proceed. They're just here hoping I'll agree with them, hoping I'll, I'll make them feel better. I can't do that with you. Well, 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 Agent Taylor, are you here to visit me? Fuck you, Keller. Gee, man, don't get grumpy. You're the one who made the deal with Hegan. You're the one who got him. He saw you dump the body. Hey, wasn't it J. Edgar Hoover who said cheaters never prosper? Careful there, sir. You killed two other men, Keller. And I'm gonna get you for one of them. transfer me back. I guess he convinced McManus. He even made his roomies. No. Yeah. Nothing's changed, Chris. I know. You got the top bunk just like before. I mean, my feelings haven't changed. I'm gonna go to McManus. Ask him to move me to another pod. Toby, so move me to Gen Pop. Toby, God damn it! Look, will you get it through your head? I don't want you in my life. After everything I've done for you. Yeah, like almost getting me sent to death row. If it weren't for me, pal, you'd be in the morgue instead of Schillinger. Maybe? Yeah. But if you think I got any satisfaction out of killing him, you're wrong. You don't know me at all. I don't know you. I know you're free of that Nazi fuck. No, I'm not. No more free than I am of his two sons, or Metzger, or Kathy Rockwell. Chris, after six years in this place, I'm not sure about anything anymore. Heaven, justice. Truth. Tell me I couldn't face the rest of my life living in here without you. If you really love me, then leave me alone. I can't. Listen to me. Listen to me. I loved alcohol. I loved heroin. I had to put them behind me because they were poison. How has being in prison changed you? What's happened to me in here? Ah! 
Whether I've suffered enough to satisfy you, uh, I don't know. Oz. That's the name on the street for the Oswald Maximum Security Penitentiary. You want to punish a man, separate him from his family, separate him from himself, cage him up with his own kind. Oh. Shit, shit. 